supported, Thank and we'll you. move on to item six, local board input. Um, local board input, I've declined the request uh, Devonport Takapuna local board, Kaipataki local board, um, Albert Eden, and they were under the, uh, the golf, and the standing order is 6.23B. Um, and there's also uh, Albert Eden local board. I've spoken to the chair in regards to that. And um, so we'll be, uh, hopefully, if we're around that table, that's what's going to happen in regards to the uh, open space policy because it's already been considered. Um, also, Ōtara Papatoi to a local board, along with the Mungiki Ke Tamaki local board, have um, removed, uh, sorry, have requested that they uh, no longer wish to speak. Um, there are, however, um, three local boards who will be speaking. Uh, one is the Upper Harbour Local Board, and that's the Chair Lisa White. Uh, she is online. And also the Chair of the Franklin Local Board, uh, Andy Baker. Uh, they will be speaking on behalf of the Sport and Recreation Facilities Investment Fund. And then we have uh, also the Rodney Local Board, and that is Chair Phelan Pitti and he will be speaking in regards to the uh, Te Ono One Rangatira Muriwai Beach. So I'm going to go through to the Upper Harbour Local Board. Um, and Lisa, I can see your lovely face online. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll leave it to you, and then I'll get a mover and seconder after you're finished. Thank you, Lisa. Kia ora. Hi, good morning everybody. Um, hopefully it's not too good a picture because we had a dawn blessing this morning and 5.30 is already quite a long time ago. Um, but it was one of those things I was happy to do before the end of the term. Thank you for your time this morning again, councillors. I'm speaking to the recommendations that you have in your report on the Sports Investment Fund and I'm certainly not going to try and relitigate or change any of those recommendations because I'm very mindful that this is this particular fund is um, I guess professionally and robustly evidence-based decision making but what I did want to speak to was the really important value that our board puts puts on sport and uh, sport and recreation facilities and really it's just a little shout out to say thank you but also for those of you that are around the table again um, next term. This particular fund is the one that has the most ability to leverage great community sporting outcomes uh, around the region in a fair and unbiased way. So I guess I'm putting in a thank you in advance for the projects in Upper Harbour that you've supported. A shout out in advance to the Marine Centre, which I've spoken to you about a couple of times, which will come back because they're not being funded at this point because they're not quite ready for construction. But given the decision at last month's PACE committee where the jetty will be vested to council, by the time the next round of this fund happens, they will be ready to um, fundraise for the actual landside facility. And I really just want to say thank you in advance for the the foresight in having these significant funds available for projects that no local board will ever be able to afford to fund in isolation. So thank you again for your time. Thank you for the, the robust process. And while, of course, I would have liked all of the money that Upper Harbour projects requested to be funded, I absolutely support and endorse the process, particularly at this stage of the election cycle. So thank you, Chair. I am happy to answer any questions, though, if people have any. There will be a legacy um, from the FIFA tournament with the football club that's getting support, um, and there will be North Shore rowing. They've got a really strong record of not only massive community participation at grassroots level, but they have provided some of our Olympians. So we've got pathways to elite sport, but more importantly, community grassroots participation. Thank you very much. Kia ora, Lisa. Thank you. And also thank you um, for the years that you have served your community and the advocacy as well. Um, Councillor Watson, uh, there's part I for you, but I put in the chat by if you and um, Councillor uh, Walker would move and um, he can second um, the input. 
Yeah, that okay? cer certainly, Mr. Chair. Okay, all uh, yours, Councillor uh, Watson. Uh, thank you, um, Lisa. Just uh, you, you mentioned um, in your presentation there the you know, your you know gratitude in the first instance for this fund, and, and I guess in particular the ability it provides to leverage you know really good sporting outcomes that. Um, certainly local boards, but indeed council as a whole wouldn't otherwise um, be able to do. And you did mention the Marine Centre. I wonder if you could perhaps just give your thoughts on terms of the regional benefit from some of these facilities. You referred to the rowing, but certainly in the cases of the Marine Centre, it goes way beyond just the boundaries of one local board, doesn't it, in terms of the people who are accessing that. Have you got anything you could just add by way of addition to that comment you made? Yeah, absolutely. The, <clears throat> the Marine um, Centre will be sub-regional at the very least, um, but it, it is also going to be almost a regional facility because water access is such a priority for Aucklanders uh, and there are very few places where it's suitable. So um, it's it's for sailing and rowers who have been displaced by the developments at Hobsonville Point primarily, but because there are so few places, um, just by default, it will attract people from further around the North Shore and wider um, West Auckland. So it's certainly going to have a legacy long term benefit to the wider North West. Um, but I understand the reasoning for the, the funding for construction not being given in this round. But I, I just wanted to mention how important it was because it will come back. And many, if not most of you will still be around the table. So um, couldn't resist that last little plug for the next next round. Alyssa, I think that's the, the only part I question that I have. Um, so look, it, it's been moved by Councillor Watson and uh, seconded by Councillor Walker. So I will move the recommendation to thank you, Lisa. Um, uh, all those in favour? Aye. 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 Against. Carried. Kia ora, Lisa. Thank you, Chair. Have a great day. Top eight. And you. Um, presentation from the Chair of the Franklin Local Board, uh, Andy Baker. Kia ora, Andy. I'll get um, Deputy Mayor, um, Councillor Cashmore and His Worship the Mayor to move and second uh, the presentation and open up for your comments. Kia ora, Chair. Thank you, Mr Chair, and uh, I feel privileged to be here. Um, the number of people that were declined. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> It's lovely to be here. Um, and, and, and I guess the reason I'm here in person is, is really just the last opportunity, I suppose, before we all just roll into whatever we roll into, uh, to, to be here in front of the, the governing body and to uh, basically thank you all for, for what you've done in the last three years or however long. Um, and uh, just a nice opportunity. And I'm not going to repeat, but I absolutely agree with uh, what Lisa said in terms of, uh, of the process and stuff. Um, and, you know, it, it's great to see that we're getting some investment uh, down in Franklin. Um, I guess the purpose of me being here is to reiterate, similar to uh, what Lisa said as well, but a little bit different, is in regards to, I think, the need for us to continue to invest in areas where there is huge growth and huge pressure being put on the existing facilities and looking at how we, I guess, um, categorise regional and sub-regional type facilities that we can and so like Lisa I had an early start this morning I flew up from um, New Plymouth this morning having been down there for a, a, a poor rugby result um, last night but talking to people there within the council just stunning and incredible the investment they are making in sport in New Plymouth and uh, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars and it's not to replace a, you know some of it's to replace a grandstand at the park but across um, what they're doing and so it's incredibly important um, and so as we see out south um, you know huge growth in our in our area and across the border um, that we have no control over um, the the pressure being placed on our facilities is unbelievable and we are getting more and more of these sub-regional type facilities and you see that with uh, with the tennis um, you know, the tennis facility, which isn't getting funded this time around. We hope that that, you know, ticks a few boxes in the future. Um, it's not huge money, 
you know, relative to uh, what else we're seeing. And so it'd be great to see that um, included in the future. And also in the, uh, the Auckland Rugby Union who are working with counties in North Harbour um, in regards, Franklin has the largest number of uh, dirt or earth fields in Auckland. Uh, that's a legacy issue. Um, and all we've seen in the past few months is kids not being able to play because our fields are closed. Whereas elsewhere in Auckland, they're able to play because of the quality of the field. So sometime, somewhere, we've got to try and catch up and, uh, and working with the likes of, uh, you know, Bombay Rugby Club, which owns their land, but is a great opportunity for us to, to get better bang for our buck. So um, love to see a bit more into those, uh, into those areas, but um, just commend the process. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's open and it's, as always, oversubscribed. So thanks. And thanks to everyone for for the three years or however long. Nice work. Kia ora, thank you, um, Chair Baker, and, and also to you and, and all the other chairs and, and local board members. Just thank you for your advocacy um, for your community. Um, I don't know if um, I haven't had any partai online. Any partai questions around the table? No? So, Andy? Thank you so much. Uh, it's been moved and seconded. I will put the recommendation. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? Carried. Uh, the Rodney Local Board, um, the Rodney Local Board, they will be uh, having their local input at the item. Um, it, 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 it'll be important from that perspective. Um, so, um, Chair, are, are you OK with that? I, I think it's important that we uh, wait till the item um, and then I'll uh, get you to come up and then we'll get the item on the, on, on the agenda. OK, Kilda, thank you. So, well, there's no extraordinary items. Um, the summary of parks is the first uh, item on the agenda that we'll go through. And to, to let you know um, that all the presentations with all our agenda items are on Nexus. Um, I have no doubt at all that everybody has read the agenda and also all the presentations because we do have a, a, a very long and large um, agenda uh, for today, and I do not want to be here at nine o'clock. Um, so, uh, in regards to the first one, I will move, and Councillor Casey will second item eight. Yep. Um, any part Any Fakaro comments? No, there's none. I will put the recommendation. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? 